Hey everyone, John McNair here from Arlington County Department of Parks and Recreation bringing you another history hike. Now, this weekend marks the 159th anniversary of one of the first Civil War skirmishes fought in the state of Virginia, and it happened right here in Arlington County. So join me today as we use Arlington County Parks to track the skirmish at Arlington Mill. We begin our program at Alcova Heights Park, located at 901 South George Mason Drive in Arlington, Virginia. From here, we can pick up Columbia Pike. In 1861, Columbia Pike was called Columbia Turnpike. This turnpike provided a direct road from the Long Bridge all the way out to Bailey's Crossroads. So Union soldiers stationed in Washington or Arlington needed to use the Columbia Turnpike if they wished to march into Falls Church. The last stop before entering Falls Church was the Arlington Mill. Although long gone, the Arlington Mill once stood across from our position here at Columbia Pike. On the night of June 1st, the mill was occupied by members of the 1st Michigan Volunteer Infantry. At a nearby house were members of the 11th New York Volunteer Infantry. While accounts of the skirmish vary, most agree that at 11 p.m. a party of about nine Virginia militiamen fired on the mill's sentries from the nearby woods to the west. Privates Henry Cornell and Joseph Cushman of the 11th New York Infantry were struck by the Confederate volley, which killed Cornell instantly. The New York and Michigan soldiers returned fire from in and around the mill, driving the Confederate party out of the area. To this day, we are still not entirely sure who the Confederate soldiers were or what they wanted. Earlier that day, another skirmish had broken out between Union and Confederate forces just 12 miles away at Fairfax Courthouse. This skirmish caused the Confederates to send several patrols eastward. Newspaper coverage of the time also complicates this question. Some newspapers reported that prior to the Arlington Mill skirmish, a mill worker named Mortimer was killed by Confederate soldiers in the area. Another newspaper report mentions that in the days prior to either skirmish, Union soldiers had confiscated hundreds of barrels of flour from the mill that had been intended for the Confederate Army. In truth, we may never know for certain exactly what caused this brief but fatal skirmish in South Arlington. Today, an interpretive sign that describes the skirmish can be found just outside the Arlington Mill Community Center, not far from the site of the original Arlington Mill. And that's our program. Thanks again for joining me for another history hike through Arlington County. Once again, this was John McNair from Arlington County Department of Parks and Recreation reminding you to stay safe and I'll see you at the parks.